Okay guys, let's get into this tutorial. It's a really fun tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clip, which is this G-Wagon MP4, drag it into the new composition, and then we're gonna decide what clip we wanna use. I'm just gonna take this clip right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this to that spot, right click on it, trim to comp, or trim to work area. Then I'm going to go through a few seconds to about right there and I'm going to trim comp to work area. Okay, so now that I have my, let's go ahead and turn the audio off on that. Now that I have my clip, we need to do a few things in order to get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to effect, Boris effects, Mocha AE. We're going to go ahead and click on Mocha AE to launch. Now that it's launched, then we're going to get the X-Blind tool and I'm going to go right along. Now this isn't exactly where the windshield is, but this is what I'm going to do because I, it's just, will track better. We're going to go up a little bit though. Then I'm going to bring this one up. Maybe I'll maybe I'll track it from about right there. All right, go ahead and hit some tracking, see how it goes. So there really wasn't too much slipping on that. We'll go ahead and go forward now, make sure that it looks good. Hasn't really slipped much at all, so that should be good. It may slip when we get a little closer here. That's pretty good. We've got a little slipping right there. And right here. Let's move that over just a little bit and then we'll go back. One little spot that kind of moves weird right there. That last couple little frames. That's good enough. Go ahead and hit save, close out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the layer, change this layer to matte, because it's going to be the matte. Click on the bottom layer, and I'm gonna delete Mocha. Then I have my matte layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop twirl down the matte, and I'm gonna hit create AE masks. So now if I turn that off, you can see there is the mask. Okay. And now what we need to do is we need to track this layer. Now that we have, go ahead and turn that off for now. We need to do a 3D tracker. So we're gonna go ahead and track, have a track camera. All right, now that this has been analyzed, it's solving the camera, we're gonna find the trackers and we're gonna find one that kind of fits what we're looking for. That one's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna do create solid and camera. Now what I'm gonna do is just kind of move this forward and see, yeah, that tracks really well. So now the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take this track solid and I'm going to do a pre-compose. I'm gonna leave everything in this G-Wagon 4, but I'm gonna call this eyes. Actually, yeah, eyes. And as you can see, I've got a little 20 by 20 pixel here. We need to adjust this composition size. If you don't do this, your stuff is not gonna work right. So make sure you go to comp settings. You do 1080 by 1920. And now you can see that we have our composition the same size. 
After we have that, we're gonna double click on our rectangle tool and if it's not white, just click on the fill and make it white. Make sure, this is important, make sure there's no stroke. Now that you've done that, we can go back to our G-Wagon and as you can see, we have our item right here and if we move forward, it should track along with the G-Wagon and of course it does. So now what we need to do is we need to adjust this a little bit because this is this, this layer, eyes, is where all of that's gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control and Spacebar to bring up my video co-pilots. Uh, shortcut, this, this, if you don't have this, you definitely wanna get it. So we're gonna go ahead and type corner pin and I'm on the layer that I want to do the adjustment, so all I have to do is click on it. So now I can zoom in and I'm just gonna drag this over the area. And we'll do it just like that. Okay, so now if we zoom out, that tracks pretty well. So now what we need to do is we need to add our mat, which is right here, and we need to create an alpha channel or an alpha tracker. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this eyes and we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we're on track mat and we're going to track this mat. And what that does is it will cut out that background. So as you can see, now we have our cutout. And the track isn't perfect, so just remember, spend some time on it if you want it to look 100%. Now the eyes moving and all of that other stuff is going to make a big difference. So now that we've got that set up, we need to actually go in and do the eyes. So the easiest way to do that is we're gonna, we're gonna create, basically we're going to lock this layer. This is really important lock this layer and then we're gonna open up another layer so that you can see as you're editing what this looks like. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lock the layer. Then we're gonna double click on the eyes. And now we have this layer here and our eyes. So let's go ahead and drag this over to here and now we have a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna bring the eyes over, and as you can see, they don't look exactly right, so we wanna adjust these a little bit, and we're gonna do that by just stretching it out, and then we'll also make the size a little bigger. And we'll go even a little bigger. That's looking better. Something about like that, maybe a little bigger. Okay. Now, what we need to do is get the ellipse tool and we need to actually, we're gonna make a mask and we're going to line this up with the eye. Okay, so now we've got one eye done. So I'm gonna rename this, I'm gonna click on car's eyes I'm gonna duplicate it so I have two of them. And then I'm gonna click return and call this one right eye. Click on return, left eye. And then I'm gonna move these over. Okay, so now they kinda of look a little funny. So now what I need to do is I want to link these together so that when I move them, it, I don't have to move them individually. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do new null object, and I'll just call this null eyes. And I'm gonna take and pick whip the right eye and the left eye to the null. So that way when I move them, they move back and forth together. And if I want to adjust just the eyes, then I can click on one eye and move it and the other. But realistically, all of the movements and everything are going to be with this null object. 
And that right eye is too close. So I'm gonna do about right there. Okay, so now that I have my eyes in here, I'm gonna get my pen tool and I'm gonna make a new shape. And this shape is going to essentially be the eyebrows to what I have going on. This shape, let's go ahead and do our gradient. A gradient ramp. And I'm gonna take kind of the top part of the Jeep, maybe a little darker or lighter, and then the dark part for the bottom part. Then I'm gonna go ahead and move it down until we get it kind of where it needs to be, which is about like that. Maybe, maybe I'll adjust these a little bit. But as you can see, I can start to edit everything using this side to then see the other. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do another shape. And this one I'm just gonna do kind of like a, like a bow, like maybe like that. And on this one as well, I'll do the gradient ramp. So I'll go ahead and bring up my computer Copilot plugin, gradient ramp. And I'm gonna copy kind of the black here and the lighter there. And then I'm just gonna bring this ramp. I'm gonna make this actually a little darker even. Maybe like black. And I'm gonna tweak this to go a little lighter. That, that looks a lot better, okay. So now, and then I'm gonna just adjust this down just a little bit. Okay, so now I've got my eyes. I've got everything in there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. But it's just the eyes. They're not actually animated. So now what we wanna do is we wanna do some animation. So in order to animate the eyes and the eyebrows, all we're going to do is go into the null object hit position and what we're gonna do is basically have it move the eyes over to that direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit a stopwatch and it's going to create a keyframe. I'm gonna go a few seconds and then I'm going to make sure I click on the null object and I'm gonna move them over to about right there. Okay. And then, so now what you'll see is it slowly moves over. So it's slowly moving over and then it'll wait a couple seconds. And then I'm gonna move it back to this direction. Wait a couple more seconds. Hit a keyframe. And then I'm gonna go over here. Wait a couple more seconds, hit a keyframe, and then I'm gonna go back to the middle. Now, a lot of this movement is going to be really rigid at first. So, one of the things you can do really quickly is just highlight all the keyframes, right click on it, keyframe assistant, easy ease and that will adjust so that they kind of bounce a little bit more and it's not so rigid. The other thing you can do is you can actually open up the graph editor and you can adjust the height. You can adjust how fast it moves by just messing with these here. So now, And maybe we want to adjust this just a little. And this is something that you just kind of have to mess with. I don't necessarily like how it went down. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this here. And this is something, again, you can kind of just play with. But it gives you a good idea. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and now adjust my shape layers. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Get a position. And I'm also going to, on this one, drop down the mask 
and I've got this path, I want to turn that on as well because if I adjust this, I want it to tweak. So I'm going to go through. Also make sure you're doing position, easy ease on the position. Then we'll go ahead and hit another keyframe here so it's not going to do anything. And then right here. Actually, I want this down lower. All right, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit control space bar. Bring up my thing and do a glow. I want to just make this eye bounce a little bit more. Now it still kind of looks cartoony. So what we want to do is we want to actually duplicate this G wagon layer. And then we're going to go ahead and put it above the mat. And then we're going to do the scale super big. And now that we're done with the eyes, we can go ahead and close out this. And I made this super big and we're going to get kind of the sky. That might be a little too big, so we'll make it a little smaller. Somewhere about right there. And then what we're going to do is we're just adding this. Actually, I'm going to copy, cut this out and I'm going to put it in the eyes. And we're just adding it above. We're going to do a opacity. Because what I want is it to seem like trees and things. It's going to give it, give it kind of a reflection. So that when you look at this, you can see kind of the reflection going by. See how the palm trees are right there kind of in the reflection. And that's still a little bit much. So we're going to drop the opacity down to maybe 10. And then go back. Yeah, that looks a lot better. The idea is to just make it so that it has some reflection so it doesn't look so cartoony. And again, you guys, you can adjust this, mess with it as much as you want. But in a nutshell, this is how you make that effect. And you can change it to however you want. The thing is, is the more time you spend on the animation of it, the better. The biggest thing is the tracking that you want to make sure that you get done right. Because that makes all the difference in the world when you're doing that.